took video, you know, that time, electronic television and the and the historical necessity, you know, I thought it would be coming, you know. So I forced myself to do, you know, but I never really liked electronics or television, you know, or really hard work, you know. So I was more kind of, I had more fun, uh, more fun playing piano, you know, this kind of thing. But I was not good pianist, so I had to do something, you know. It's better to do video than going to stop block or, you know, working for poster. <laughs> Undoubtedly, Namjoon Pike is, is the father of video art. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, I don't take really things too serious. Never, nothing is really serious to me. Huh? He's the only guy I know who, you know, once the car is, is, you know, he's driving the car full speed down the hill and he runs out and he tries to take the tires off the car as it's rolling. This is a glimpse of a video landscape of tomorrow when you will be able to switch to any TV station on the earth and TV guides will be as fat as the Manhattan telephone book. How do you pronounce do your name? Do I June or Nam hey. or Mr. Pike? Don't matter at all. Shooting video or making electronic jam session is a great fun, but editing it down to is really torture, you know, because you have to, you make a lot of babies, and you have to, you know, kill them by and by, and you make only one guy, and then you love all babies, you know, in our instinct is, huh? and you have to be very brutal. Huh? Namji never dealt with video as something very serious, you know, as high art. He always, you know, he started out. Um, well, not just in music history and art history, I think that Pike made the first new cello since 1600. He made three TV sets and a plexiglass case. It's a totally new concept, and you should see how cellists feel about it. They're really upset. Uh, and it's a wonderful instrument, isn't it? No, I think so. Uh, now, I do not make traditional cello sounds with it. I make TV cello sounds with it. do live television show, you must be ready for Harakiri any time because, you know, it's a very, very risky game. <laughs> Namjoon Peg says he, when he started working in the 60s, his, his goal was to make TV with his fingers, not with his mouth, because he said all of TV is made with the mouth, it's all people talking. Oh, he was the first one to take the TV and to shake it up and to throw it out the window. And somebody has to do that in a really significant way in order that the rest of us can come along. I mean, we're just like the sort of flock of sheep. Anyway, to survive just to really kill everything, you know? I think that Nam June consistently, uh, whether successful or not, has uh, taken probably the most intellectual leaps using video that anyone has. Around 1970, I pointed out to Namjoon a rather impressive article I'd read in an art magazine called TV, The Next Medium. He said, oh yes, very interesting, but of course, title is ridiculous. When I asked why, he favored me with one of those humanely tolerant smiles that the tender-hearted lavish on children and small animals, and said, TV was next medium in 1910. I, I got into into neolithic new stone age you know, culture because new new stone age is very uh, close to uh, electronic age. Number one, there's no 
property, you know, private property, because when you broadcast, it's not private property. You lose, you become socialistic on that moment you go on the TV, you know. And then uh, number two, it's no gravity cultures, because that time they move around, they cannot carry anything, you know. So they carry only sticks to get the root and some a knife to kill animals, that's all they had. Huh? So it is very uh, non-gravity, like satellite art. Huh?